post game highlights. I think 2K11 after the game. I'm not sure if you could. I don't remember if you could go into the highlights or if it would just show some. But I know for a fact that it shows some highlights. That would be dope. That kind of stuff for YouTube creators like myself. It helps you get thumbnails, which is tough in the game right now. Also, that's the kind of stuff you want to brag and show off. You might want to share that to Twitter if you got a nice highlight. That's the kind of stuff that is engaging. You can engage with your fans and, and your friends with that kind of stuff. Add that feature, y'all. Shout out to one of my teammates. This one right here came from my team. And I never would have thought of this. And I don't know if people are going to love it or hate it. But I think it's very forward thinking. And they think it should be a rematch option for the captains. Not anybody on the team. But after the game, the losing captain has the, the option. Or even the winning captain has the option to submit. Hey, you want a rematch to the other team. They can either accept or decline. So many times. And I say so many times. We only got about 30 losses. But so many of those 30 losses we've lost. And we was like... We should have won that game. We better than those guys. Our so-and-so lagged out. If we'd have had him, we'd have won the game. I would love to be able to say, yo, good game. Let's run them back. And if they actually say they want to run them back, we run them back. And if they say, no, we don't want to run them back, then we can say, okay, cool. Y'all know we nicer than y'all because y'all didn't want to run it back. I like that. I'm delivering this one right here out of order. But another one that we want to see is pre-game stats. Once you're loading into it, I don't just want to see this guy's height and weight. I want to see kind of the breakdown how, how many points a game that does this guy score for this team am i guarding their best player am i guarding the guy that they go to i kind of want to know that stuff i, I think that'll be dope even the stats they show before the game the team stats is not very accurate you know what i'm saying so you got that information in there let's let's make sure it's up to date let's make sure it's real let's make sure it's usable uh information now let's shift over to the gameplay side of things once again, let me make sure I reiterate, this stuff isn't limited to Pro-Am. This is just stuff in the game that I'm not a fan of, but I feel like it negatively impacts Pro-Am gameplay. Let's get into it. Number one, collision steals. Collision steals. Collision steals. They happen way too often. Does it happen in the NBA? I'm sure it does. I understand the necessity for it in the video game. You can't just be dribbling up against somebody's leg all day. I get it. But you should have to make a defensive move to get the steal. You should not be able to just be standing there daydreaming and get a steal. Not often anyway, it happens a lot. It happens a lot, it happens way too much. And it seems to me, I could be wrong, y'all give me your feedback, but to me it seems on the last update or the last patch, it's really crazy now. Like, man, I feel sorry for the bigs. They can't do anything. If they get a rebound, they can't even go back up with it before they've lost the ball. It's just crazy. I feel sorry for the bigs. Speaking of, uh, of the bigs, this one right here. Shout out to the homie Zilla who is a big. This one right here I think is one of the best ideas. And I kind of modified it a little bit. But I would like to see, for lack of a better term, like a triple threat option for bigs. All right, check this out. You know as a guard, you in a triple threat, you can kind of jab, step, move around. Why can't a big clear out? Hold the ball up high. Swing it, throw them elbows, clear out, create some space for yourself. Like a big man is taught to do in real life. They don't get the ball and just stand there with the ball chest high, stomach high, so it can be ripped. They're going to hold it up high. They're going to move it from you. They're going to swing them elbows. They're going to clear out. I just, I want it to be, I want it to be more user controlled. I don't want it to be so, so automatic. I want you to be able to control it. I don't know the answers. Y'all got to figure that one out. I don't know, maybe a whole hold left trigger or make him hold it up and while you're holding left trigger maybe you can move it around I don't know I don't know y'all figure that one out but I think that'll be dope defensive lateral movement it's been needing to be addressed for years really ever since we came uh, next gen console or current gen console defensively the lateral movement is bad it's very bad and because it's bad we've seen some offensive areas be impacted because they're trying to kind of band-aid it for lack of a better term the reason why guys could left right wasn't because you know left right and is is evil it's because the defense can't move you can't move on the defensive side and is it better this year than last year it is it still got leaps and bounds to go in my honest opinion so as a big when you play not even a big i, I say as a big but as anybody on defense when you're playing, the reason why these guys sprint around the perimeter because you can't shuffle your feet. So you have to go full sprint. So then when they change directions on you, your, your change of direction and your lateral movement is 
way far less responsive than the offensive guy. So just like that, you're broken. You're out of the play, which means another defensive player has to rotate to pick up your guy. That play is broken. If he's smart, he's going to make the pass to the open guy. And, and simple as that, you, you got an easy open look nine times out of ten or a drive to the basket on a play simply because the guy on the defensive end can't keep up. I would like to see that tuned. Like, it's getting there. It's better. It's better. But I like to see it tuned. Um, animation heavy defensive responses. Let me explain what I mean by that. How many times have you been in the paint defensively and a guy is driving to the basket and you want, you want to try to throw this man's shot out of bounds, but your guy does this, he goes, he goes into the take a charge animation and he leans back. You over there killing the button, you want to jump, but he's doing this. First of all, you would never even try to take a charge standing there because you know you're probably in a restricted area anyway. You ain't going to get the charge call. I don't care if I don't block the shot. But if I press jump, if I want to, if I right stick up to put my hands up, let me let me put my hands up. That's what the controls are in the game for. Another thing that I want to see toned down is all the flagrant fouls that you have no control over. Somebody come to the basket, all you do is right stick up and your guy close lines them. I mean, what the hell? I want that to be tied more into what the user does. Maybe if the user is going OD hard at the block, sometimes it triggers. Cool. High risk, high reward. I get it. Same thing with the, with the crossovers. Maybe if I'm reaching like crazy and I reach at the right time that you trigger your, your crossover, I should fall. But no way I can sit my controller down and just be standing there and you can come down and do some stuff and my guy fall. How? I'm not even moving. Why would I fall? Like, I don't like that the heavy animated defensive responses. Those need to be toned down as well. Um, <laughs> this comes from the bigs in TMM. The two-hand overhead pass that the big man does. Nobody likes that animation. Nobody. It usually happens under the backboard, too. So you get an offensive board as a big. You want to pass it out because you know you can't put it down. You're going to get ripped. You can't even just stand there and hold it. You're going to get ripped. So you want to pass it out to your guards. Instead of just turning around and even if you baseball pass it, even I'm not saying chest pass all the time, even if he baseball pass, but no, he gets under the basket, he jumps, he pivots, he's got two hands over his head and he tries to throw it and it hits the backboard. That animation is horrendous. I don't like it. I don't think anybody likes it. Um, while I'm talking about animations that I don't like, this one right here might not be the popular opinion 2K. This is just me and my complaining right now. The contested cricket feet shot. I call it the cricket feet shot. I don't like it because the release point is different. And it throws me off every time. We had a game. I was on live stream. We had a game. I was wide open for the three. The ball came to me. I wasn't contested. Instead of shooting, my guy kind of turned and did the cricket feet with the different release point. And I missed that three. And I was like, why would he do that? I don't like that crazy shot. I don't like it. And like I said, everybody else is probably going to say, nah, Spade, I'm all right with that. That might just be me. That, that's fine. Let me let me get my crying on. This next one right here, you guys know, I, I made a video that a lot of people responded to about it. Let's talk jumpers. Let's talk jumpers. Can we fix the jumpers, 2K? What do you mean, K Spade? Fix the jumpers? The jumpers are fine. It shouldn't be... It shouldn't be about 10 jumpers that everybody uses because they turn green or they go in more than others. There are some jump shots that just flat out don't work. I don't care if you are a point guard and you want Shaq's jumper. If you're open, if it's a shot that your player is capable of making and you release it right, you should make it. You should make it. Simple as that. I don't care what jumper you equip. People always say, why do you use D-Wade's jumper? D-Wade can't shoot in real life. I'm not turning into D-Wade, y'all. I'm just using his form. It is just the form. If my guy can shoot threes and I'm open and it's a, it's a good shot and I release it right, I should have a good chance of making it. Am I saying I should make it every time? No. But you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. You know it's a lot of jumpers out there people flat out don't use because they don't work. They just don't work. It's still about 10 jumpers that everybody uses. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, now, I'm, a, I'm about ready to end this thing. I had a couple of ideas that came from the team. I think they're, ve they're very forward thinking. I'm just going to throw them out there for the community. You guys can either like them or love them. I hate them. I did, I did the baby right there. Y'all finish it, y'all done. You can either like them or love them. But anyway, uh, this one right here, shout out to the homie Beast. I don't know how I feel about this, but I'm going to put it out there for y'all. 
he thought it would be cool moving forward to have the ability to start the game with more than five users. And as opposed to just fatiguing out or whatever, maybe sub out a user for a user. I think that's kind of cool, except for I know users. Users don't want to sit, ever. Users don't want to come out the game, ever. So I don't think that's a great idea, but I, I can, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I want to put it out there for the people to see what they think about it. It would be dope that, uh, you know, maybe this guy is a better facilitating point guard. So you play him. You get to a point in the game where you guys are down, you need the shooter. I don't know. I'm trying to make up a scenario for it. Beast, I tried, bro. I'll let the community decide what they think about that. For the most part, I'm looking at my notes here. I think that's everything I wanted to say. And I'm sure as soon as I finish this video, the light bulb will come on and I'll think of even more ideas. But once again, y'all, that's what the comment section is for. Any ideas you got, let me hear them. Uh, any ideas you like, let me hear it. Any ideas you hate, let me hear it. I got tough skin. Y'all ain't gonna hurt my feelings. I don't give a damn. If you get too OD, I'll block you. I'll be all right. Either way. So... Once again, folks, I'm K-Spade, the prospect. This is my NBA 2K17 Pro-Am wishlist. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, man, show your love by banging the like button. It only takes a second. If you're new here, you want to see some of my content, I urge you to subscribe to the Wolfpack. That's what I call my supporters. To me, they really are the best supporters on the tube, and I want you to be one, too. I'm out the next time, folks. Peace.